If you use Lightroom to edit your Instagram pictures, but you also use photos to synchronize with your iPhone, today I'm showing you how to speed up your Lightroom to Instagram workflow. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Alejandro, and this is Documentary in Progress. Today I'm showing you how to speed up your Lightroom to Instagram workflow if you are on a Mac and also use iCloud. But I'm also going to mention at the end how you can do it on Windows. It's very quick, so let's jump right into it. We'll start by opening photos, and I will show you here that I have my photos without any picture at all. It's just a brand new account. And let's go to albums and create a new album. We'll call it Instagram for this purpose. And that's all for now in photos. And now we should go to an application called Automator. You just open Spotlight, you can call it, you can search it. And in Automator, you create a file, new application. Choose that. And we are going to drag two actions to the workflow. Let's go to Finder, select, get selected Finder items and drag it there. And then go to Photos and drag below the previous action, import files into photos. And here you select the album that we just created, Instagram. There's another album by default, the favorites, but we won't use that one. We'll use a new Instagram album for our purposes. So now we go and file, save, and we save this in any location with some name like Lightroom to Instagram or something like that. Now that we save that, we can go to Lightroom. And let's say we have a picture that we want to publish we haven't edited yet, We maybe we crop it to one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, we apply some basic teal and orange and whatnot. And now we finally go to File Export. Once we are here, I'm going to go very quickly through my settings for Instagram. I usually prefer to export every Instagram picture to a, the same folder all the time. So for example, I created a directory called Instagram in my pictures folder, and I will export every file here. We don't do any renaming or anything like that, but we do export as JPEG, sRGB at 100% quality. And we do resize them to the short edit being 1080 pixels. 72 pixels per inch, and we don't enlarge them, just in case we have smaller files. We do add sharpening for a screen at the high level, and for the metadata, you can do whatever you want. I, I choose to include the location. And now finally, this is a cool part. In post-processing, we are going to open an application and here's where we select the application that we just created. So we select our Automator application. And just before we run this, we're going to save this by clicking Add, save as a new preset, because this will save us a lot of time when we want to export more files. So let's say we call it something like export to photos or something like that. And now we finally click export. By the way, if you're on Catalina, the latest uh, macOS version, it will ask you permissions to do something with Finder and do something with photos. And this is only the first time you run this. So we give it permissions. And as you can see, it exported it to hard drive and then it added it to photos. But not only that, it added it to the album that we created. So just to show how quickly it is, uh, let's say we have another photo to edit. We will resize it. We will apply some basic teal and orange. And now it's just as simple as selecting file, export with preset, and we select the preset we just created. And that's it. It's already on photos. And if you have iCloud synchronizing your photos in the background, this will be synchronized right away. So you can see it on your phone immediately. You go to um, Instagram and you will see it on the recent files or in the album if you have more photos. Uh, here we have like the two pictures we created ready to publish on Instagram. If you don't use iCloud and prefer to use something like a free version of Dropbox instead, you can just export from Lightroom directly to your Dropbox directory and that will synchronize with your phone immediately so you will see the pictures right away to post on Instagram. And that works for Windows as well. 
And that's it for today. A very quick tip or tutorial if you want. See you all in the comments and keep documenting.